All right, everybody, we're back uh, with Sergeant uh, uh, Jerry Montgomery. We're going to just call him Jerry for the for our interview. And uh, Jerry, you and I were talking. We're we're really on the on the same page. I, I think we're both Ron Paul supporters. Probably still are. Uh, but the bad news that Rand Paul uh, had endorsed uh, uh, Romney even before his dad dropped out, which is kind of really very strange. Uh, indeed, normally what you do is the chief candidate would drop out, there'd be a, a little bit of a break, and then maybe some endorsements would follow. And I'm not really surprised that Rand did this. He's never been uh, the non-interventionist uh, non and, and never been the kind of uh, libertarian his father is. But you and I were talking about this and, and I think you had some good perspectives. What are, what are your thoughts on the situation, especially uh, you know, how we both felt, I think, you know, that you know, we don't need to be looking to messiahs. Go, go ahead and share with our listeners on, on your view. Yeah, when I saw on InfoWars yesterday the news that Rand Paul had uh, endorsed Romney, I just knew what kind of ripple effect this would have in the movement and the people supporting Ron Paul. And a lot of them, their first impulse would be to throw, out, throw down the towel and give in to hopelessness. And, you know, there's just too many people out there that think this will be solved by finding the right leader. No, it won't be. Everyone's got to become their own leader and stand up for what they believe in and what they know is right and quit looking for somebody else to do the dirty work for them. You right. know, they think all they got to do is just get on these internet forums and run their mouths and, and throw their weight behind some freaking messiah, whether it's Alex Jones or, or Ron Paul or, you know, Rand Paul, whoever it is. And that's all they've got to do. No, it's going to take a lot more than that, a lot more mass involvement, you know. And we haven't even gotten to that tipping point yet. We're just starting to reach into that direction. And people people are not out of their comfort zones enough yet with the tyranny to where they're going to start, you know, joining those who are awake in the streets like we saw at Bilderberg meetings. Yeah, and it's still too much in a bubble. They don't realize how bad it really is. Well, and, and I think the other point is, and, and you know this as a, a combat veteran uh, better than I and, and many people, you know, it's easy to talk revolution. It's easy to, to, to talk the talk. But, you know, don't, don't talk to me uh, about revolution until... You've done everything that you can do. Are you registered to vote? Have you registered others? Um, are, are, you, are you being informed? Are you doing what you can in terms of self-government? Are you freeing yourself from the system? Because the truth of the matter is, if you can't fight now when the fighting's easy, what's, what are you going to do when it gets really, really tough? I, am I hitting on something? Oh, you're totally hitting on the nail on the head because people have no clue how horrible and how much energy and commitment and dedication it takes to fight a war all the way through to the finish. All right, the, the, the titanic energy and effort that takes, I don't think a lot of people in this country have the backbone for, for one thing. And for another thing, once that kind of a situation starts, this country is going to be transformed into Baghdad or road warriors type society overnight. There's going to be... No more conveniences, no more fast food, no more supermarkets, no more nothing. It'll be a Stone Age, dog-eat-dog -dog kind of an existence like what we see in Iraq and Afghanistan. And, 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 and right... Cities and absolutely, and right, right we now we can... We don't need to. Yes. Right now we can fight, uh, and we should fight uh, with every tool that we have uh, and exhaust all of those tools uh, so we don't end up in a situation because uh, if you look at the history of, of the Civil War uh, we, we, we know we end up often ending up with less liberty and, and that's not what we want. We're headed up on a, on a hard commercial break here. Um, can I keep you over uh, for another segment, Jerry? Yes, you sure can. All right. We will be right back.